Okay, I got the whole team assembled. Let's see if we're ready. This one's strong. Be careful. There it is. Here's our chance. Take this. It's my turn. Okay. Rainbow Drum, huh? Arcus, activate! Yeah! Let's go! Ha! <laughs> now! Hmm, holy song, your ailment and stat down. Please! I appreciate it. Faith, huh? This'll help. <laughs> Faith. Ready. Hmm. Hey. Omega Operation. Ready. Locked and loaded. Fire away! They're down. An opening! Yeah! Hmm. Elliot's not gonna move anytime soon, is he? So it's the only one that he impedes. Ha! This one's on the house. Here's our chance. An opening. Leave it to me. Locked and loaded. Fire away! It's healing itself. I won't let you! Oh no. Gotcha! Seriously. Yeah. This is why I usually don't bar keeping everyone apart because the enemy's just gonna gun for the back row anyway, so why? Uh, I might as well save them the trouble. It's my turn! Roar! <gasps> Healing strike! Now! This one's mine! Whoa, broke ya! Ready! This is we have a mega operation that actually works out for me. Hold on, I need to use the battle scope. I got this. You just whack him with Reen until it dies. Now! An opening! Now! Let's go! An opening! Oh. Leave it to me. Let's use another Omega Operation. Seriously, one of the best speed-based ones. This also gives you a bit of a, a strength boost as well. Yes. There! Here! An opening! It's my turn! An opening! My turn! Uh. A shame we don't have the emblem An courts opening. with us. Otherwise, I turn. could probably get double of whoever it's carrying right now. Take this! They're down! An opening!
Don't go pushing yourself too hard, Reen. I'll try, but no promises. Didn't even need to use Demon Unchained for this one. Earth Pulse SR, it's not... It's good, but probably not super Yay, rare. I did it! Holy Song 2. Now heal even more. Actually, I should really try to fight a regular battle with all my party members before sending them off into a real battle in case I have any new crafts to learn. Hmm. Iron Will EX became Black Tortoise. That's quite a rename. This is about as good as it gets. Okay, level 96. It should be even easier than the previous one. In this theory. One might be worth my time. Oh, we took the first turn. Good. Hmm. Anything good to cast? Let's cast an Amatine Shield to be safe. In Arch case activate. evasion is not enough to cut it. Arcus activate! My turn! Uh... Yes! Shining. Arcus activate! I appreciate it. Yeah. There it is. Here's our chance. It's mine. My turn. The Mateen shield again. That took out most of our shields. Okay. What's a good brave order to use here? It's a speed type. Let's just stick with Crazy Hunt. Go just crit it un until My we turn. break it. Mm. Prepare yourself. Ha! Shatter. Then crit. I got this. True Thundering Roar. I wonder if I can seal it. Ah! Speed down. There it is. Now. It's mine. Yes. Detector B. Analyzing enemy you. I got this. I got this. Hey. Ha! This one's on the hat. Here's our chance. It's mine. Ooh, so close. It's my turn. Okay, Vorpal Flare. Hopeless will be enough to break it. Burning flames! Vorpal Flare! Ha! Very well. Yeah, let's just use a speed based one for now. Or should I stick with Crazy Hunt? Hmm. Oh, wait, I have Windblade. Well, that's better. For my purpose right now. Yes. Ash can deal massive break damage. This will be. E this is done. It's down! It's mine! Very well. Yeah. There! It's mine! I got this. Now! Let's dance! Ha! Ya, ya, ha. I ain't done with you yet! 
<laughs> Sweet dreams. Ha! Done already? Luster. I must train even more. True Twilight Blades. <laughs> I did it! Serene Blessing 2. Overcame the trial. Infernal Hunt has been obtained. Hmm. Lasts even longer, I guess. Or is the crit rate slightly increased? I can't... I can't remember what the previous one was. I think the crit rate actually increased. I don't think it was 60 before. Alright, Big Chungus incoming. That enemy... Whoa. Well, can I calamity a Grergian? Let's kick its ass! Hmm. Okay, we want to cast Ebon Crest for now. Arcus, activate! Yeah! I'll support you! Are the nice. charge... Okay, good. It's my turn. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. Roar. <gasps> uh, helix strike. My turn. Present mirror. There it is. Now, I'll assist. I shall go. Okay. Detector. There goes your balance. Ha! This one's on the house. Oh, AT delayed. A little bit. It's my turn. Hmm. Hunter Wing. See you! Strike! Now! An opening! My turn. Nur Chrono Drive. Hmm. Actually, Sacred Roar, so my counters will deal even. Uh, will break him faster. Bellow! My turn. Hmm. Activate Fragorock to 
destroy! Now! There! There it is! Here's our chance! An opening! Let's go! All right. Roar! <sighs> uh, healing strike! Now! There! It's my turn. It's not at his threshold yet, is it? Maybe I can still break you. Hmm. Arcus, activate! Let's go. <laughs> Thunder Bay! Now! An opening! My turn. Yeah, I hope it doesn't enhance itself. That would be bad. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. There it is! Ugh. Nice. It's my turn. Very nice. Oh, sure, I didn't bring a speed-based one. Or in light speed flash. Not good. That was a huge oversight. I should have put like Kurt or something just in there just for his turn order. Light. Okay, but he, I can still at least get some maintain some form of speed up like this. All right. Ha! Here's our chance. An opening. It's my turn. I can still have him delay the boss just to give myself some leeway. Make sure to repair with Altina. I'll support. Thank you. Cost covered. Give it to me. Just to be extra safe and make sure I have enough time. Okay. Leave it to me. I'll support you. Thank you. Leave it to me. Ow. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. Now do it again. It's my turn. It's my turn. Front of burst. Let's go. Howling heavens. It's my turn. Okay, I think I've delayed it enough to be safe. Yeah, let's just go with that. Just start killing it normally. Switch with me. I'm up. Yeah, it's going to be delayed a lot from all of this, huh? So you just use a power a strength based thing on yourself. I sh don't have I should have made more. Yeah, good enough. That way you won't be delayed too much. I shall go. Okay. 
Okay. Let's actually refresh Noble Arc. My turn. Connect with Ash and Whack. There. It's mine. Let's go. It's almost dead. I'm. I have an advantage, so good. Let's go, Demon Unchained, with you. Let's go. Connect with Ash. Whack. It's down. It's mine. It's my turn. Connect with Reen and Whack and hope I get him to 200 CP. Now! An opening! My turn! Hm. It's down! An opening! My turn! Hmm. Yeah. Now. An opening. I got this. Light. It's my. It turn. made Reen a bit too fast, even with the Minotauros build somehow. I'm up! He has still has two more turns of this before he goes Berserk. I think I can get him... Uh, I think I can get him enough so I can get his, his CP to 200. For the most optimal kill. It's possible I'll just kill him normally before then anyways. It's mine! Now. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill him normally. This is pathetic. There. Sure. Yeah, I can just whack him with one hit right now. Hmm. Of course, cryptids don't get any give any experience despite their huge hit points. Ha! Done already. Defeated a Gar a Garagian. Prominence Nova Lost Arts. Okay, now I have the entire second half of this basin to explore. And I can't do anything about this Pleroma. No. Dark Her Her Angelica. Hmm. Ready to go whenever. Okay, there seems to be some kind of bison. Two of them. I hope I'm getting a linked encounter. Uh, this is not my favorite team, but whatever. Let's try it. A strong enemy. Be careful. Wow, they just An positioning opening. itself perfectly just to hit Emma. <laughs> I don't even know if Emma has anywhere to escape to. I'm going. Yikes! There is literally no escape in this arena. Even though it looks like we should be able to, she should be able to climb up in the corner. Handle this. Okay, I don't think I can suction anything that big. That, that's impossible. Right. Yes. Valiant hearts is all I get, huh? Burn. It's my turn. 
Arcus, activate! There! Yeah, that's a decent damage. <laughs> it's my turn! Okay, I should probably not stand in the line. There's literally no escape from this thing. At all. It's Let's on go. fire. Maybe a radiant spin right behind you. No escape. Hey now. Attack. Yes. I want to detect you real quick. Analyze. Hey, one. It's my turn. Okay, let's do another zero roll cannon while it's down. Huh? There. That worked out somehow. Let's keep moving. Even though she I almost died. Intimidation obtained. Avalon hearts obtained. Just increases the, the duration. I see a mysterious figure up on that part of the hill. Oh, so Pei has seen fit to reunite us at last. Heh <laughs> heh. What's the freaky occult girl gonna tell us this time? I heard my students might have run to you, but honestly, this is the last place I ever expected to see you, Beryl. I can't say it's not pleasant, a pleasant surprise, in a way. Heh, <laughs> likewise. You did well to return to your friends. Well, that would mean... That this is a faithful, that faithful, this faithful friend has yet to be cut, would it not? Would it? I have no idea. Wait, back during the Civil War, you were investigating places of heightened spiritual activity. Is this one of them? Indeed, I sense a curious energy, followed it, and ended up here. A colossal presence lingers in this land. Heh, <laughs> you all sense it too, do you not? I don't sense a thing. Well, I can feel traces of spiritual energy, but... Given the way that this place looks, it's clear that something spiritual happened here. I still don't understand the word that this girl says. Could this colossal presence be what I think it is, but how would she? Okay, continue exploring. Or oh, wait, something observable. Duh! Ah. You can see right to the bottom of the basin from here. It's like a crater's been gouged right from out of the earth. What could have caused this? Now would be a good time to take a photo. Looking good. I'll send it to Rex when I get the chance. Hey, let me take it. Whoa, here's a little. Shirley and Maria Bell. Huh, <laughs> thanks. No one's gonna question this about how he came into contact with the enemy. Where is this? Is this in Crossbell? Is this in Michelin? And also, Shirley's not in her student, uh, her main campus uniform this time. Ha! How did she become a student? Then again, it might be, it's kind of scary to think what she would do if she were a teacher. Obtain a bunch of ingredients. Uh, something's nasty here. 
Treasure sighted. Begin recovery mission. Solemn buckle. So I need to get these rodents scanned. Hmm. Sarah and feet together, huh? Bring it on. Okay. It's gonna be tough because I also have to scan free at once. Yeah, and they're all spellcasters, so evade tanking won't be enough here. Exterminating. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Where the heck is my other bell scope? My turn. There it is. Here's our chance. It's mine. Okay, now I need to sweep again. Exterminating. Now, this one's mine. I got this. It's kind of bad. I need to thunder vortex everyone. Let's get them as close as possible so they'll be tempted to use physical attacks. I'll shred you to pieces. <laughs> now, it's mine. They're using healing. My turn. Exterminating. It's my turn. I'm gonna get Chrono Drive and hope I can survive. Take that! My turn. Exterminating. Is. Here's our chance! It's mine! I got this! Yep! Yeah! Hey. Thunder Vortex again. I'll shred you to pieces! It's mine! Hm. Got it. Exterminating! It's down! This one's mine! The green one heals, huh? Let's go! Case. Cypher Edge, let's see if I can get lucky and KO one of them. Yeah. I don't think so. Now. This one's mine. It's my turn. Hmm. Lightning. Weak. It's 
It's my turn. Kill the jewel orb, probably. Ha! This one's on the hat. Let's go. Hello? Hm. Got it. Exterminating. Now, this one's mine. Hmm. Got it. Okay. Sweep has the least delay. Hmm. Which should be safer? Which should be safer edge and ch hope I can get a KO. Let's go! It's down! This one's mine! Ow. I got this. Searing flash. Ha! This one's on the hat. Now! It's mine! <laughs> got it. Hmm. Sneaking. There it is. Broke ya. <laughs> Got it. Ha! Yeah. Now, this one's mine. We should have given Sarah some impede courts. Quick and easy, nice and neat. <laughs> Spoken like a true professional. Overcame the trial. Lightspeed Flash has been upgraded to Searing Bolt. Hmm. So it lasts a bit longer. Still pr a sloppy attempt, however. Good enough. C's get degrees. Um... Should be a shortcut around here. Is it a permanent shortcut or am I only allowed to jump down? Oh no, it's a rope ladder. Hopefully it's not frayed or anything like that one at the island. Hello, Edel and Sandy, you're here with her? Instructor Reen, it's so great to see you again. Well, if it isn't Reen and his friends, you're all looking well. But I suppose you were when I saw you in Ordis too. That's so that's not surprising. We we're just talking about you. Oh, really? You really have a knack for showing up just when we need you, Edel. It seems you always know exactly what we're up to. Oh, I merely, I merely connected the dots. I already knew that there were four associates in Ordis at the time. All you needed to do was reach out to the branch campus students while you were busy infiltrating the city. Nothing special, really. Nothing special, she she says. I'd heard you were working together with Vincent and some of the other alumni, but I had no idea of the scope of your operation. Well, Edel's family is kind of a big deal around here. They're popular with the other nobles and beloved and trusted by the commoners. Regardless, it seems like things are really beginning to escalate. I'll be staying here with Sandy and the other members of Forest to gather information. We're behind you all the way, so don't give up. Thanks, we're glad to have your help. I'm going to search for information on Vivi and her other missing allies. Things are finally starting to get serious. If Patrick and Ferris were there, then he perhaps... Perhaps what? Oh, nothing. Nothing to worry yourself over. I just have a couple of extra things to investigate. The Slash is outside of the army's in surveillance area. Go ahead and make yourself at home. You have my deep ears a little. Force unity ring increased. You have my deepest gratitude. You have my deepest gratitude. You have my ears a little. K. 
Okay, got another unity increase. You have my deepest gr You have my deep You have my tears a little Oh shoot, actually I should have gone I should have gone uh, look for more recipes first before giving these all to her. Oh you well. You have my deepest gratitude. Pretty much everything so far. Okay, what if you sell something good? Hmm. Not you. I can't believe it. Reen, oh wow, it's been so long. But you look a little different. It's good to see you again, Kai. You too, Gasco. Sorry, no look is new look is a little jarring. Oh, don't sweat. We already heard about what happened from Sandy. You're still the same person who saved us from the Jaegers two years back. That's not going to change. I'm glad you feel that way. Things have been rough for the workshop lately. A lot of our goods have been seized by the army. But Enya and the boss will work something out. We'll get through it. That's right, and anytime you want to drop by, we'll always be happy to see you. That's too kind of you. Thanks. It's a relief to see Ulster is the same peaceful little town it's always been. But even this place hasn't been able to totally escape the war. I'm really happy our paths crossed again. It's not all that rosy here in Ulster, but we're managing. You're welcome here anytime. Indigo Ribbon Barrette for Duvoli. Hmm. Oh, this is so adorable. Ahem, consider that an overreaction on my part. Forget about it. It's so nice to see some raw emotion in you for a change. No need to act so restrained around me. I'm not acting restrained. Anyway, why are you giving me a present? You better not expect anything in return, because you've got no another thing coming if you do. Easy now, I don't have any ulterior motives. I just wanted to do something nice for you. Besides, I felt like I owed you a lot for your help. I see, I suppose that's within reason. Very well then, I will accept your gift. Hey buddy, get over here a sec, will ya? Eep, you mean me? This girl looks like trouble. What do I do? Is she going to turn violent? I need this mirror to accomplish something important. Shake me down all you want, but I'll never hand it over. Uh, when Aeus's damn hell are you talking about? Well, whatever. You see a kid named Cargo anywhere around here? We got separated back in Heimdall, but he's my responsibility and I gotta find him. Oh, is that all? Sorry, I thought you were trying to mug me. Shoot. I was trying to bring Machias to this one because I figured it'd be some unique dialogue for him, but I realized I should have brought a fee to talk to Edel. I actually just arrived in this town in search of someone myself. So I'm afraid I haven't heard anything about your cargo. That's too bad, I get it. You got your own problems. Who is it you're looking for? I'll, I'll keep an eye out. We're in the same boat, so we may as well help each other out, right? That's so kind, thank you. You're a lot nicer than you look. Well, now how to describe her? The woman I'm looking for is a goddess descended from the heavens to walk among us. Oh, sure, I probably should have brought Elisa, too. No way. Damn, you don't look like much, but you got guts trying to hit on Adios herself. No, that's not it. I mean, she's so beautiful and full of grace that you could easily mistake her for a goddess. I've been searching for him for a month now. When those damn monsters swarmed the capital, me and Cargo tried to get people out. We got split up, and I haven't seen him since. There's no way he can be dead. No way, I know he's out there somewhere. So that's what happened. Cargo's not the, uh, the only one missing either. Cargo is my responsibility. I'll find him no matter what it takes. So if any of you nerds hear anything about him, you best tell me, got it? That wasn't- I, I was expecting a bit more dialogue out of Machia, so well. Hmm. Oh, Reen? How have you been, Tilia? It's been so long since we last met, and looking at- and looking like this, I don't blame you for being surprised. Things are a little complicated these days. I don't care if they're complicated or not. I'm just happy to see you, Reen, the hero of Ulster himself. You've really grown, Tilia. You seem even more grand than before. And I'm glad to see you're still writing your novel. Yeah, but it's not really ready yet. It's been about two years since then, right? I imagine you've made quite a bit of progress. Heh, <laughs> no need to be shy, Tilia. Once I'm finished, you guys will be the first to know. You all really inspire me, you know that? If I didn't have you, I don't know if I would be pursuing my dreams like this. <laughs> I think you'd be at it no matter what. Anyways, I think I speak for all of us when I say we can hardly wait. Sure, maybe I should have brought Altina for this one. Ugh, I have to be so- I have to think about all these uh, uh, different characters and who I should bring. Oh my, you're a famous instructor at Sandy's school, aren't you? I've seen you in the papers, but you've got quite a different feel to you in person. 
Well, what's happened, so? Sorry, that was a strange thing to say to someone I just met. I've been really looking forward to meeting you since my daughter is enrolled at Branch Campus. Things are tough now, but if you need anything, just say the word. We will, thank you. Sandy often handles our deliveries to no say over on the highway. She's the kind of person who's got to give it your all attitude, just like Gilda and Ariel, huh? After what happened to Prince Albert, my wife stopped bringing Ariel up. And several armored divisions that passed through on their way north. Things were quite noisy around the rest sludge for a w were quite noisy around the rest sludge for a while, but also seems to be retaining its peace. What's going on with the mayor does worry me a little, but I'm an outsider. It's not something I should be sticking my nose in. If I can sell off wild game and use the mirror for some good spirits, what, then what more can I ask for? I wonder if the mayor would try to arrest us on the spot. Mayor. Jarnak, have you received your draft order? Prince Oliver would surely be impressed if we sent a fine man like yourself. You should rise up to the challenge as a resident of Ulster and a man of Erebonia. It'd be an honor, honor, sire. I'll do what needs to be done to defeat the prince's enemies. That's the spirit. I'm proud that, that the proud and hopeful have gone. It makes me so happy that my place to the residents did not fall in deaf ears. The mayor praised me. I feel this warm, fuzzy feeling I've never felt before. It's a curse. I want to do my duty as a man of Ulster and Erebonia. The mayor came to the distillery, uh, distillery, uh, distillery with a thunderous look on his face earlier. He was screaming at my brother about how all men in town should answer the draft. It was like he was possessed. I went to inform Father Nogaro, but if my brother leaves as well, we're in tr real trouble. Huh? A bunch of branch campus students here. I guess we're all in on this. Welcome. Oh. If my eyes aren't mistaken... Good to see you all. Looks like you came after seeing a request, right? Wow, I heard the stories, but that hair, those clothes, is... If that isn't the most rock look I've ever seen. I'm glad to see you look well. I can say the same to all of you. What the hell are you guys doing back here? Yeah, the Modern Music Club must have uh, been Raquel to share information. And right about then, we got a ring from Sandy. Figure we may as well come over seeing as we were in walking distance. I was hoping we'd be able to do this on our own, but I'm sure you're aware of how that goes. The only thing, though, is that a few key components are completely busted. Right, we first had Kai and Gasco, the town's best engineers, take a look at it. It sounds like repairs just, uh, repair just isn't an option. These parts need to be re replaced entirely. You said in your request that it ne just needed to be repaired. Hey, you want us to be your gophers and run around finding all the parts, is that it? Well, I wouldn't I would word it a bit different, but yeah, pretty much. If you have the time, will you mind stepping in to lend us a hand? Definitely, we'll help out however we can. Thank you, we really appreciate it. I can't begin to tell you how much this means to us. I'm kind of surprised to see you use an old hunk of metal like that for anything, honestly. Trouble's brewing, huh? Yeah, times are tough. The military is requiring liquor for the troops so they can relax. We need to produce a large amount for that. But on the other hand, the general population is looking at a sudden shortage. Even in darker times, Steinros has ver some very loyal customers out there. The demand is great. I do anything to figure out how to best produce it. Dad's conscription threw us for a loop. He's usually the one in charge, but now he's running the brewery, a brewery for the military. We have to keep our quality high, but furrow checks often result in production speed dropping. That does sound difficult. That's why we brought out the old distiller. It might not be cutting edge, but if it helps supplement production, then why not? As you've heard, some of the key components are beyond repair. It's not producing a single drop in its current state. There are three parts in particular we're having trouble getting. The first is the pressure valve. It's used to lower the pressure in this distillation still. Next, we have the coil, uh, cooling coil. It's a tube that efficiently cools vaporized alcohol to turn it into liquid. And last but not least, a large pump gear. It's one of the parts that transfers the refined alcohol back to the storage tank. Thanks, I think I got a good idea of what you need. Good idea. Man, do you even know where we can find these things? I sure as hell don't. Just so you know, we already went to both the workshop and the exchange shop in Raquel looking after these parts. No luck at either, I'm afraid. But if you check in with Doug Mr. Dwight from Parm, he might be able to help you with the pump. You're not safe for sure, though. Nothing really comes to mind for the pressure valves, I'm afraid. It doesn't seem like that the kind of part of a traditional, tr traditional workshop would carry. 
It has to be a workshop with state of the art equipment. It can't be on the Imperial Defense Forces radar either. It seems like cooling coils are also used to refine perfumes and pharmaceuticals. That's all the information I have for you. I have no idea where you could find one. Well, if we put our heads together, we may be able to come up with a few possible locations. Yeah, that's a good enough start. Thanks a lot. We can make it happen. Let's get it done already. Let's get started. Fantastic. Thanks again. Good luck, you guys. The Merkabuzz Workshop. The equipment here really, it totally is state of the art. I should see if they have a pressure regulator valve. Sometimes the exact thing you need is right under your nose. Pardon me, can I ask you something? We didn't ask Riona if he had a pressure valve on hand. A pressure valve, huh? As a matter of fact, we do have some. They're for the ship, though I don't know, really know much about them. In any case, here you are. Will that really be compatible with, a, uh, uh, with the distilling machine? Thank you very much, you're a lifesaver. So how much do I owe you? Oh no, there's no way I could ask any mirror of you. By all means, take it, I insist. That's extremely generous of you, thanks again. This is another thing we got a uh, 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 warzel for, I guess. The Erin Village Workshop. They make all kinds of tools here. Maybe they'll, uh, they'll have the cooling coil Valerie asked for. Excuse me, can I ask you something? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've got some of those. After all, they're a vital part of making medicine, perfume, and all that good stuff. If it's brandy you're making, you'll want the biggest one you can get. Here, this ought to do it. Gillix Pipe. Put that wall away. This is the one's on the house. You're all important guests of the Elder, after all. Thanks. I'll definitely return here as a customer if I need any help. <laughs> nice old geezer, ain't he? You never guess it by looking at him. This is the workshop where Pablo used to work. Mind if I ask you something? Yeah, it's just like Pablo expected. I'll get- I've got some stuff right here. They're used in the mun municipal water wheels after all. Here you go. Alright, how much? Don't worry about it, just take it. We've got to help each other in times like this. Besides, if Pablo is involved, I don't want payment. That's very kind of you. That's pretty nice of this guy. Alright, looks like we've got everything we need. Yeah, let's go uh, get back to Mirio. Oh, you're back. Um, have you brought the parts we asked for? Yeah, I hope we got the right ones. Let's see here. Pressure valve, cooling coil, and the large pump gear. Cannot believe it, but you've worked another miracle. Just don't make me play a mini game to to, to make in order to make any beverages like in Crosscode. That mini game had so much uh, percentage based damage. Heh, <laughs> that's kind of their thing, isn't it? Thanks a bunch, Ash. Heh, <laughs> whatever. The rest is on you guys. <laughs> Just leave it to us. This is my chance to show off my engineering skills. I'll show you what Class 9 is made of. I'm going to give Gasco and Kai a call as a precaution. We began to distill brandy, partially as a test to see if it had still been properly, if the still had been properly repaired. After a few trial runs, it was distilling brandy like it never, had never stopped in the first place. That was a surprisingly easy fix. What a relief! I don't know how to thank you. Uh, working in a big group makes things easier, doesn't it? I don't think it's how many, but who. You guys from Forts really can't do anything. You might be a bit on the younger side, Kai, but I gotta say I'm impressed. Yeah, you're quite the engineer. I'm looking forward to seeing where you'll go from here. Absolutely. Eh, well, baby steps first, right? You all really make a solid team, you know that? Damn, so each distillation takes like 10 hours, right? Right, does take a certain amount of time for better or worse. Not that it matters much to us, Ash. Or have you for forgotten we're not old enough? How can I forget when someone reminds me every single time? On that note, we're ac we've actually prepared a sampling of our signature beverages for you. It's our way of expressing our gratitude. Anyone of legal age is welcome to some Steinrose, of course. We've prepared some delicious grape juice for those who aren't. It's some of our best. I'm really delighted to say. 
I'm not really a juice guy, but whatever, I guess. Grape juice it is. It was first the work searching for the parts. I would appreciate some of that juice now, please. Yeah, who would have thought we'd get to drink some cider this early in the day? I mean, even if it's just a tasting, it counts. I suppose a sip or two wouldn't hurt. This is a, spe a special, a special bever uh, beverage, so a glass or two is, the is most certainly in order, I'd say. Everyone had an excellent time, with an age-appropriate beverage in hand. Muriel and the others offered their thanks once more when the group left the distillery a short while later. I come to take a look at Olivier's hometown, who do I see but the famous Class 7? Fresh from the Steinrose Distillery too. Oh, I can smell a lovely aroma from here. Any other time when I go pick a few balls up, I'm sure Cassius would like some too. Should join our party. So I know I can't afford us to be spotted, not yet. I heard it, Ashton Chevalier's got some sharp senses, I better go before he notices me. Is anyone watching from the rooftop? This feeling. I didn't feel malicious. Maybe I don't have anything to worry about. Of course Sarah would also notice since she's also a bracer. Hmm. Oh no. Hey Reen. Got a moment? Hey Toa, sure, what's up? Any new leads? Yes, in fact. I've been informed of some suspicious activities taking place in Silverland. Sutherland, huh? That would co coincide with Marcus, uh, Marcus Higharm's absence. It's more than just a coincidence. I was dumbstruck when I heard that. Go on. Oh, uh, never mind. Can you drop by sometime soon? I have new info about the Forest Network, too. I think it'd be better for us to discuss it in person. Of course. See you soon. Guess Herschel's got something for us, huh? Wonder why she was so coy about it, though. Is it about George? Yeah, me too. Let's go back to the Merkaba once we get we're done here. Hmm. Hermit in bar. Raquel's nice to visit every once in a while. It was a long way, but worth it. You're the lady who runs a second-hand uh, antique shop in Crossbell, right? Sup? Ah, uh, the very well-informed store owner. What brings you to Raquel's, if it's not a secret? Heh, <laughs> I came here to visit to see my old friend, Mick and Rhoda Pawnbroker. Partly to buy some antiques off him, partly just to chat. Enough about me, you're Reen Schwarzer of Class 7. Quite a lady killer, I see. I follow your exploits as closely as I do the SSS. I hope you, you'll keep providing good entertainment. And it's um, nice to meet you too. By the way, I brought some crossbow products to toss in when I'm bargaining with Mick and Roe. They may be on the expensive side, but they're worth much more than I charge. Maybe you'd be interested. Don't worry if you don't have enough mirror on you, we can discuss an installment plan. The rumors are true, she's very intense. Hmm. If you ain't buying, then get out. No new cards. Hmm. Oh, hello, Ash. You're back again, and after I told you to be careful too, are you trying to make me mad? Hey, chill out. You don't need to worry about me. The army doesn't seem to have their eyes on the area right now, after all. Well, as long as you're watching out for yourself. Don't let your guard down just because the army has dropped their security level, though. There's been a lot of strange rumors recently, and it seems that informant is doing something or other in secret. Is it, that's, this is the same informant we met during our field exercise? Didn't he turn Ash and the others into Hugo the other day? So is Miguel still working with the government? Hmm, I don't know that much. He's a regular here, so I'll probably have him to pay his bill at some point. Well, make sure you avoid running into him, okay? Thank you for looking out for us. Yeah, we can never be too careful. Thank you for the information. We'll be back. If I hear anything else, I'll let you know. Take care. I heard what happened from Maya. It sounds like you've been having a hard time. Given that, I don't really like the idea of asking a favor, but I hope that you, you'll continue to look after Ash from now on. Of course, no matter what, he's still one of my precious students. No Gallus MP here in public. Knock it off, Array. Crispy Pickles. Hermit Blue. Hmm. Alright, good thing I saved up all those tokens earlier. 
Now I can use this later on. Let's see. Nothing else I really need here. Oh wow, this musk smells like passion. Really makes her heart just race. Maybe I'll boost my chances with sweet little Toa. <laughs> Give the poor girl a break. Never, but Reen, this is a kind of... Uh, this is kind of too good for a casual gift. Don't make me feel indebted to you now. I wasn't trying to, and I think that it, it's really nothing compared to how much I owe you for your help. Alright, fair enough. Still, you're not getting away without me giving you something in return. Here. Lightning goggles? Bike goggles? Uh, figures. Thank you, Angelica. Hmm. It didn't increase her stats. Instead, she just gave me an accessory. Speed plus 5 and critical rate plus 5%. It's not much. Oh, aren't you Ash's instructor? I didn't recognize you. You look different somehow. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry for making you worry. Is everything the same here? Well, things are a bit calmer. More people are looking forward to going to war. It sends cold shivers down my spine. And I've heard talk about the Jaegers. You guys need to be careful. Sure, the Jaegers? I'm a little worried, but I think that we should leave it for now. Deccan's Rib. No new recipes. Oh, weren't you the kids from Force? You were at Erin Village, right? What are you doing here? I came to collect some information, but there's a problem with the teleport stone in the woods, so I can't return yet. I thought that since I couldn't return immediately, I should take the chance to do some additional research. I call out to my fishing buddies today, but it seems the abnormalities in the water are getting pretty serious. I see, that's pretty worrying. Leave it to me, I'll get, you so I'll get some useful intel. Thanks for your help. Hey you two, enjoying some lunch I see. It's just like old times, we were both in class too if you remember. It's good to see you, Reen. Has it really been s how, uh, since graduation? Edel's told me all about what's been happening, though it sounds like you've had it rough. Compared to what everyone else has been going through, my troubles have just been a drop in the bucket, really. Speaking of which, I heard about Alan. I'm still hoping I'll have the chance to talk to him, but... Thank you, Reen. It will be alright, I have to believe that Alan will come around in time. Right. As long as you have love, you can overcome any difficulty. Is that what helped you slim down so quickly, Margarita? Oh, have I slimmed down? I hadn't noticed. As far as I'm aware, I haven't lost a single crumb since I was a student. Does, does, she, does she really not notice? Now, maybe things as trivial as her weight and figure don't really register for Margarita. Okay, let, watch me t change her. Oh my! Thank you ever so much! Gotta make sure make uh, to, to make extras of everything just in case I miss something. Oh, -ho! thank you ever so much. Just for now. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, keep giving it to her. <laughs> Sorry for the. <laughs> Here. Power Droplet and Fortitude Droplet. <laughs> Sorry for... <laughs> Sorry for... Okay. Give this... You have my deepest gratitude. How did you two make it here? I'm sorry, you know, I had no idea Lofar would find out about you and me. Now that he's discovered me, he's bound to tell my father everything. He's going to be so mad, he might never let me leave the house again. Charlotte, ugh, it's not, just not fair at all. Well hey, do you want to stay at my house for a while? Things might catch up to us anyway, but... I've still got tons of fun stuff I want to show you. How can I let you go back to your hotel now just when we're only... Uh, now when we're only j just getting started? Oh, Yuda. Alright, I'll take you up your very kind invitation. Bar's not near nearly as wise as he'd like to think. I still want to see more of the world. You've got guts, Yuda, smuggling some noble girl away from her family. Okay, I think there's something I can trade for here. Maya, Sydney, what are you guys doing here? Instructor Reen, it's been a minute. As for your question, well, Maya told me how to 
Desperately, she wanted the two of us to sneak a, a way out here, so naturally I... And there were that light and I'll leave you with a bullet between your eyes. Maya, I was just joking. Let's start over, shall we? Right, Troopers, I need I needed some ammo for my favorite rifle. When I told Maya, she offered to show me a good shop that might have it in stock. Yeah, I figured it had to be something like that. Weirdly, Sydney, seeing that you haven't changed that uh, kind of puts me at ease. Heh, <laughs> thanks, I think. It's like you said, Instructor, Sydney may not be a model soldier, but we can rely on him to be consistent. Why do I always end up being so pathetic? I mean, I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm, I really am trying to brush up on all kinds of things, so why isn't it ever enough? I guess it's because you go around talking about yourself like that. So I'm sure all that effort will pay off someday. Oh, are you the Ashen Chevalier? I heard the rumors, but will you look at that? Your hair really is gray. Hey, he got me there. Sydney and the others must have told him. So are you helping the branch campus students? Well, I'm just selling ammunition and some tools for repairing weapons. This is here stays pretty hush hush, so don't you go overthinking things, heh. <laughs> I see, that really sums up Raquel in a nutshell. Still, to be sure, uh, be sure to stay on your toes. Things have been getting pretty fishy around here. That broker has been seen out and about, too, so I bet we're in for some action again soon. So there's a broker that's coming to town, huh? But just what does he mean by action? Hmm, well, we better remember that, whatever it means. Booga Braid. Give to Gaius. Hmm, he's running both shops now because the air guy probably got drafted. I've taken over Clark's work since he got conscripted. But one of the merchants took advantage of me and I ended up paying more than what the stock was worth. I used to leave all this to Clark. I never knew how tough negotiating is. I've got so many worries, but I can't make Cappy's life any harder. It's my duty to manage the store properly. What's going on here? Hey, where are you all doing hanging around? Sir, do you come to ch uh, check out that super busty woman around here too? You damn fool, what kind of question is that? I go for a gal with smarter ones any day. Wait, what? What kind of conversation is this? That's like, what say we all hit the town together? Yes, sir. Thank you for this opportunity, sir. What was that? The chief warrant officer is just as bad as the rest of these guys. I better go along and keep an eye on them. Can't have anything happening to them before we ship out to the front. So all of us have leave at the same time, huh? Guess we'll have to make the most of it. I'll show you how proper Erebonians have a good time. Alright. Please do. Mm -hmm. Oh hey there, are you helping out with the war effort too? I sold my harvest exclusively to the army at a special reduced rate. Still needed more, so I got my neighbors to pitch in. The army sent me a thank you letter and everything. And it feels good to be appreciated. Ain't well, ain't this guy just a bundle of joy? Yeah, looks like the curse has gotten him. Uh, gotten to him. Just how far is the spread at this point? This guy just came up to me and started yammering away. I already got drafted into the army. There's not a lot more I can do to support the war. I just hope I won't be away from home too long. I don't want to worry my mom. Hmm. Here, Barracuda. Dinner time. Wine nom nom. Boo, he's been acting weird lately, but he hasn't lost his appetite. That means he shouldn't be sick at least. Maybe he'll feel better after a nice meal. I... I... I uh, yeah, we were supposed to visit this during Ash's bonding event, but I didn't commit to that one. Lately I've been going to that lodge up north to buy my vegetables. It's tough getting them in town. The congestion on the railways also means they aren't too fresh either. On the other hand, I can get what I want to lodge. They produce, uh, uh, the, the produce there is real delici delicious too. Plus it's good exercise. Two birds, one stone. Hmm. Amelia, I'm sorry. I've chosen. I've decided I'm going to be a soldier. Sweetheart. If I can earn a higher wage, you wouldn't have to take a second job. I can support the both of us. This hasn't been, hasn't been an easy choice for me either. I hope you understand why I made it. You know that I disagree with you becoming a soldier. I can't even think about what life will, would be like if I lost you. It's too horrible to consider. Amelia. I know you made this choice because you want to look after the family. So please just come home safe. Of course, no matter what, I re will return. Goo goo ga. See, you say he's cheering me on too. Thank you. Daddy has 
to go away for a little while. Don't forget me. Can't look for the diary here. Even though we know it's actually located there. Ugh. What's going on back here? Yo, Ash, been a while, man. What are you doing here? Ain't it gonna be bad if the soldiers get a hold of you? You ask me, you'd better get out the hell out of Raquel if you want to stay intact, that is. Heh. <laughs> I could say the same to you. Sounds like you've been letting Miguel take you for a ride. Even if I am, that's got nothing to do with you. Just be it, Ash. You don't want to be long here anymore. Yo, Brad, a lot of rumors are going around about you lately. You're not mixed up in anything weird, are you? I mean, come on. You go from being one of Fafnir's best to throwing your, your lot in with some creep like Miguel? Dude, that's old news. Quit living in the past. Now, why don't you be, to be good... A good couple of lackeys and step aside. What? Who are you calling lackeys, tough guy? Ash, ah, shouldn't you stop them? Now nah, leave them be. It's just all just swagger. Brad's harder to pin. He looks the s damn same always, but who knows what he's up to? Better keep an eye on things for now. Hey, I got a nice idea. Come on, follow me. You Fefner liar girl want to hear this. What's this all about? You got no right to be saying that name anymore. All training all the time. Hmm. Oh hey, that you, Rosa? Looks like you got a full house tonight, huh? Ash? Anyway, I'm working right now, so I'm trusting you to stay out of tr trouble, got it? I'm starting to catch the eye of some real high-class clientele. I've got to keep it together here. The club is busy enough these days, but now we're dealing with some rowdy thugs, too. It has me really worried for our younger girls. I suppose there's nothing I can do except keep my nose to the grindstone, as always. Ah, it's you. I never thought I'd get to see you again. My, my, if it isn't the sweet little hostess who clued us in about Zephyr, this must be the work of pure fate. We got cut short last time, but tonight I've got all the time in the world. What say you let me show you paradise? Oh my. Angelica, please, it's too early for me to deal with this. I caught the eye of a real bigwig last night. He was kind of a creep, to be honest, and really handsy. But I can't let this get me down. I'm aiming to be Raquel's number one sweetheart someday. It's all because of you I'm able to bring a smile into work each day. Thank you so much. Oh ho, in that case I could think of at least a hundred ways for you to return a favor. Angelica, we can hear you. Guess I got lucky with my uh, uh, party member line up there. Do you hear that man from Icarus Mart was drafted? I'm so scared. I couldn't live if you were drafted and killed. Don't worry, my love. I would never leave you. To my soul depart and my body grow cold. I swear I'll make my way uh, uh, not to Adios, but to you instead. Oh, Rick. I will live, I promise. No matter what happens, my love for you will never change. Dude's not even dead yet. Looks like my grandson Yuda has made a lovely friend lately. Um, what was her name again? Char? No, that sounds too short, Charlene. Anyway, Yuda always looks so excited and happy around her. As a grandmother, that's what you want to see. My, my Mina, too. I hope she gets the chance to run around and play until she wears herself out. I believe that the recent increase in violence is due to, in no small part, to the heightened level of anxiety in the city. So I set up this anxiety support group at Ulfa's suggestion. If we can put people at slightly more ease, maybe we can be of some good. Anyone is free to come and seek advice. Not that anyone has done so yet, Sai. Oh, did I tell you? I proposed my idea to help people to the bishop. And now we're, we set up an anxiety support group together. Do you think this will help everyone start feeling better? I hope you'll join us too, Ash. Yeah, I'll pass. But you didn't even think about it. Why are you always like this? Man, we kill her to hit... The off switch for five seconds. Hey, dealer, fess up. I know this jackass bribed you to the regular game. Wait, I wouldn't do that. Now, now, please calm down. I'm flattered that you have so much confidence in my skills. But dropping a ball into an exact position is just impossible. There's no trickery here. It's simply a game of luck. Hmm. Such a shame horse ra racing has been banned. What's going on with Black Prince? He's going to race when they start up after a war. And start up again after a war. 
In the meantime, he's doing intense training on Private Lion Berea Heart. If you like, you could come to my villa to see the horses. I will provide the ultimate hospitality with our large rose garden and excellent wine cellar. I'd really like that. I have to meet someone from back home. I'll take a rain check, please. I heard that Marjorie was here in the casino, so I came to see her. She is the most intriguing woman. I get very passionate about the things I need to fight for. I'm the same way with horse racing. I enjoy horse racing. I'm interested in horses in general, actually. It might be fun to go and meet Black Prince. Hmm. Hold on, you seem familiar. Aha, you look different, but it's you. Welcome back, Ashen Chevalier. We haven't seen each other since we stopped by Nine Valley during our field exercises. I must be working. Sorry for interrupting. It's fine, I make a tidy sum, but that's not what I'm really here for. And with you back, I think I can expect an uptick in sales. War is always good for business, after all. Ain't that one messed up sentiment. It's like this is all just a game or something for her. Oh, by the way, where'd you say Jingo scampered off to? Actually, I haven't seen her since we parted. You're in the dark on her whereabouts, too. Yep, haven't heard my, a peep on my end. I'm sure she has her reasons for being wherever she is, though. And if she's managed to sniff out some big racket, then more power to her. Excuse me, you're Kayla, right? I believe you may request to find your friend. Yes, that's right. Am I right in thinking you are all the group taking on my request in place of the guild then? Essentially, yes. Well, some of us are bracers. She does look familiar. Well, whatever. Huh? When we were at the rest lodge, you and that urge claimed to be from Remy Feria. I take it you're sticking to that backstory this time too? Would it be inconvenient to you to be less blunt? We're out of you to call it a backstory, but... That aside, as I'm requesting assistance, I'll be showing you at least a certain degree of sincerity. It may not seem so, but I'm quite impressed with the Ashen Chevalier, Mr. Schwarzer, and his schoolmates. Even if the same can't be said about you halfwits. Uh, maybe don't try to antagonize my students too much, alright? Anyway, you seem to know a lot about me already. Heh. <laughs> In any case, we all have a lot going on. But there is something I want to say. Regarding this request, I have no ill will toward the Empire or yourselves. Though I would be delighted to receive your help. Circumstances has brought us to Gareth, so of course we'd be happy to help. Thank you. So something about looking for your friend who got to Erebonia ahead of you. Yes, his name is Cody. He's 18 years old. He's a blonde-haired young man who has a Remiferian passport like myself. By the way, did I, put, I did put a missing person's ad in the Imperial Chronicle. That's how I received some reports that he was in Raquel. I see, so you were the one who placed the ad. This is as much as I can do. The reason being that my goal for chasing him down isn't just to find him, but rather to apprehend him. If I go around asking for information on his whereabouts, it's very likely that he'll find out. That's why I wanted to be more subtle and have someone he doesn't know track him down. Makes sense to me. Ugh, so much for just uh, for this just being a missing person request. I'm fully aware that this is a very unreasonable request. As such, I won't force you to take it, but... It's fine, we've accepted the request, so we're going to see it through. Anyway, do you know what clothes Cody is wearing? I do, according to latest information, I believe he's wearing a blue top and dark beige pants. A blonde foreigner, and we know what he's wearing. This might be easier than I thought. Well, our target will probably be on high alert. If we want to find out where he's hiding, we're going to have to tread carefully. Indeed, for the time being, if you catch sight of the target, please contact me before any doing anything else. Then we can discuss what steps to t take next. Understood. Alright, let's get to it. If we charge in head first without any info, we'll just stand out. Let's start by asking the people around the station square. Cody Red. Hey boys, why don't you come and hang out with... Oh, well now, seems you're looking for something else at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, sorry, there was something I, we wanted to ask you real quick. A young blonde guy, huh? Yeah, I, I definitely remember seeing a guy like that around here recently. I tried talking to him talking him into coming to the club a couple of times, so he just brushed it off. I think he went to Icarus Mart this morning. You've got a sharp eye, huh? Even for a guy in your line of work. Well, yeah, I gotta look out for that kind of stuff. Don't want to waste my time talking up someone I know ain't interested, yeah? Anyway, I don't have time to chit-chat. Of course, thanks for the help. Alright, sounds like we should pay a visit to Icarus Smart then. Yeah, not like we have got anything else to go on. Mm, 
wrong one. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help us with something. That sounds like the gentleman that stopped by this morning. We've had to put restrictions on how much a customer can buy during a single visit because of the current climate. I remember him because he buys food every day. When you add everything up, he really buys a lot. Maybe he's giving it out to his friends? I see. What do you two talk about? This morning he asked if we had a special type of rifle ammo. I said we don't stock them and recommended the pawn shop. Mc Mick and Rose, huh? They definitely got all sorts of stuff there. Thanks for telling us. I guess our next stop is the pawn shop. Yeah, we have to stop by after hearing that. Oh right, we've got something we want to ask you, old man. They explained they were looking for someone to ask if Mick and Rowe had seen him. Oh yes, I remember that young fella. He was after a si size of a, a rifle ammunition that you t don't typically see here in the Empire. And bought ones that were almost that are almost only used in Verne Company made rifles. The Verne Company is Calvertian. Heh, <laughs> right in the money. Some blonde 18 year old. It'd be funny if this turns out to be the guy we saw before, huh? I'm pretty sure he was supposed to be deported back to Calvert, though, right? Well, either way, we shouldn't. We should ask Kayla again if she has more information. You didn't know where he went after that, Mick and Row. I'm afraid I don't. Now you gave us enough to get started. We should head out and get to asking around. Sounds like a plan. Guess we owe you one, old man. Heh, <laughs> don't you even worry about it. I can't teleport out. Got an event coming up. Guess we should start asking around out on the main street. Wait, you feel that too? Yeah, there's someone nearby keeping an eye on us. I sense the same. Damn it, he snows us. He's going to make a break for it. Let's pin this bastard down. Going toward a casino? He's got a Calvardian Battle Orbit Ramda, right? Give him a real a, a, a easy time slipping right by us. True, but I think we should still be able to catch up. We need to hurry so we don't lose track of him. Don't head in the exact direction of your fleeing target, you won't get AP. Okay, so just head to Alicia Casino. Hey, I saw Soli there. There he is, we got him. Should have talk to Soli after this. He's gone to North Languedoc uh, uh, Canyon Road. Right, let's catch up to him. Got the bonus AP. Just by following uh, uh, th that one path. The hell, damn, he's quick. That Cody's a Calvardian agent, all right. The Hercules Special Forces, huh? I would have figured he'd been sent back to the Republic by now. Regardless, we should follow him north and keep Kayla a price of the situation. Hmm. I see a path there. Can I summon my bike? Let's get going. Okay. Ah, I cannot control this thing. Just don't hit the pedal too hard. Moderate speed and slowly make my way over to the uh, point of interest. The enemy is strong. Please be careful. Uh. Looks like a toughie. Stay on your toes. Okay, investigate. The road's been sealed off by the government forces. Huh, so it's pretty much an ideal hiding place then. I can definitely sense people ahead, so this has got to be it. Yeah, and luckily for us, it seems our target thinks he managed to lose us along the way. Let's see if we can get any closer while we wait for Kayla. Squad 05, come in. This is Warrant Officer Cody. No hostile sighted. Over. Please respond. 
Receiving you loud and clear, warrant officer. Good work. Thanks to your efforts, the operation is proceeding as planned. Most would talk about accepting a solo mission in enemy territory, but you clearly got the chops to handle the pressure. Captain Regan. I'm not too worthy of any praise, sir. Not after the way I cracked. I ran out on you all when you needed me. I'm nothing but a coward. That you'd still call me your comrade is more honor than I deserve. But... What is it? It's about the operation, sir. I can't get behind the idea of harming civilians, even if they are from the Empire. Cody, don't tell me you're going to soft on us now. Where's your pride, soldier? Think of everything the Empire has sent to the Calvert and its citizens. I'm not denying that, it's just... I guess we're gonna have to whack him. Does something seem a little off about him to you guys? I find it hard to believe a Hercules squad could infiltrate Erebonia so easily. Yes, exactly. Oh, Kayla. I still can't tell you everything, but you seem to have a solid enough grasp of the situation. They're, they're the Hercules Smith Squad, which has been operating inside the Empire since the Summer Festival. They were captured and were on track to be repatriated not long after. But when the Emperor was shot, the authorities suddenly had more pressing concerns at hand. It would have been easy enough for the Hercules Squad to break out and slip away in all the confusion. Ugh, why can't things ever be simple? At present, they seem to be planning to create some kind of disturbance within the Empire. Since they're acting without any sort of official sanction, the Calvardian government wants them stopped at all costs. Do they have been cursed too? Sounds like the Republic has plenty of its own problems to deal with. Even so, this is as far as we can go today. You've given us a considerable leg up by uncovering your hideout. We will start devising a, start a countermeasure and... Yo, what the hell, the hell he's doing? He's attacking his own ally? Oh no! Maybe I didn't make myself clear. How about I let my blade remind you of the punishment for insubordination? Captain Regan, no! Why are you doing this? Stop! Huh, sis? Kayla, I should have known. And you brought the cavalry too. I Cody, you idiot. You let yourself get tailed. Everyone, we're making an emergency retreat. Move out. Cody, no, don't go with them. They might shank you. Cody, wait! Cody! Kayla! I'm sorry you had to see me like this. We finally got some good intel, and I let my personal feelings get the better of me. Don't beat yourself up, but it was only natural you'd want to save Cody. I'm a little surprised, though. I didn't realize it was your brother. Oof, anyway, I got a bad feeling about that guy calling the shots back there. You think he, maybe he's still messed up from when the Dark Dragon made him a knight touched? After what we just saw, I'd say it's a definite possibility. If you're right, then I can't afford to waste any time. I wish I could do something to thank you all. But I promise I'll find out where they're planning to strike next and stop them. We appreciate it, and if you need any help, we'd, we'd be happy to pitch in. Yeah, I figure you're still getting used to how things work here in the Empire. Hit us up when you've got a lead. And here's an idea. Maybe don't keep us in the dark next time. Heh, <laughs> you're all too generous for your own good. If you'll excuse me, I need to get in touch with my error operatives. Thank you so much for everything. Always watching from a high place, huh? Just like I figured, not even Schwarzer can sense us from this distance. But that woman, Kayla, was it? She sure made a mess of things for us. Were they trying- uh, th Was Lecter trying to instigate the Calvardians on purpose? Major Lecter. Are you sure it's alright to let Class 7 go free on top of the Hercules squad getting away? Yeah, the way things are now, it's better not to get involved. My to-do list is lengthy enough as it is. Oh, I guess he's not trying to instigate them. Maybe we can just pretend we didn't see any of this go down. Perhaps you're right. We're plenty busy already. If that's your call, I won't go against it. You're the son of my co old commanding officer, after all. We'll just think of it as them getting lucky this time around. Drozer Carbite, this one's on me. Don't say I didn't, never did anything for you. War symbol. 5500. Yeah, I got the extra. Oh hey, it's you guys. You're that dancer, Sully, right? 
Thank you for helping my students out back then. And if I'm not mistaken, you're the mysterious songstress, aren't you? Hey, I see my reputation precedes me. Yeah, we get it. You're famous. What are you doing in Raquel? You coming to check out the Turandot or something? We're on tour. We just stepped out for a minute to get some fresh air and talk about our routine. All the empires of stage. We've got to give our cities a taste of what we can do now and then. I doubt we could put food on the table if we just stayed in Crossville all year round. That sounds like a lot of work. Anyway, sorry, we didn't mean to interrupt. I hope your tour goes well. Break a leg. We'll see. Always nice to hear from our fans. Oof, I see you've, you've raced your fishing game. In that case, you qualify for a bonus gift from the Imperial Fishing Club. Here, your bonus for reeling in 20 different kinds of fish. Incredible Amino EX. Thanks, I appreciate it. Hmm, I guess I'm gonna... Uh, uh, well, I, I wonder if I can find Annabelle. Uh, no, she would have moved on by now. She's still looking for Kenneth. According to Miss Annabelle, Kenneth has a plan of some sort. He's probably uh, teaming up with Patrick. If he's dropped out of contact intentionally, hmm, I suppose we'll just have to trust that no good son of mine and wait. If you wish to know more about my son, I suggest you speak to Lady Annabelle of Bryonia Island. Oh, she's still there. Hmm. I still don't know where Kenneth is. I'm sure he's safe somewhere wherever he is. I have to believe that. I'm still worried about the fish. Right, let's just activate the cutscene in the Merkaba. Back in the Merkaba, Reed and the Aris quickly gathered on the bridge. They then proceeded to discuss the new information that Toa had acquired. You've gotta be kidding me! I was worried that the, what the Imperial Defense Force's administration and Mercus High Arms absence might lead to. You were right to worry. Meet the new Interim Supervisor of St. Ark. Is this his way of getting revenge? Mar Marcus Wilhelm Ballad. Uncle of the former Duke Cayenne. My granduncle. Guess that greedy old mongrel got his grubby hands back in the henhouse, huh? Ash, remember, he's still a member of the nobility, though I'm inclined to agree for the most part. Selling out to the government to further his own prestige again, is he? As if that buffoon hasn't caused enough damage in Ordus. Whom I could have sworn he kept him under house arrest after a hold to back all the Imperial Provincial Council. It, it's clear the government decided otherwise, frankly speaking. Yeah, apparently he arrived from Heimdall of two guests in tow. One of them a member of Force, and the other a member of the Imperial family. Alfin? No way. It's almost like I close what heaven in Ordus, play for play. There's quite a number of students and personnel of the branch campus whose whereabouts are unknown. But we've only got so many Imperial family members running around. Yeah, there's only one person that could be. In, in, in any case, that's all the information we currently have. We'll have to sneak our way into St. Ark, the capital of the Sutherland province. Then you're taking the three of us with you, me, Kurt, and Allie. Agreed, we've already been to St. Ark twice now. Plus, I spent most of my childhood in Sutherland. I'd like to see for myself how things have changed. Well, in that case, I might as well come with. That is quite a lot of pre-decided party members. Drakenor Fortress isn't too, uh, too far from town. I might be able to find out more about my dad in the Four Farmer Division. I feel like me and Sarah should tag along too. The girl has a temporary branch there. It might be end up useful. Literally everyone wants to come along. Agreed, but we can't both go. We've got bracers operating all over. One of us needs to stay back and be a liaison. I see your point. We can decide for sure when the mission starts. Team's looking pretty solid. Now to get, to get cracking on how we're pulling this off. Would it not be simplest to teleport in from the witch's village and infiltrate from there? Actually, we can't use that route right now. It was broken, remember? Something strange going with the teleportation stones in South Ismia. Probably a disturbance in the spirit veins, if I had to guess. Yeah, that's why that one guy got stuck in Raquel. Euclase. I suppose our landing point will just have to be up to our discretion, then. I'll begin searching for candidates. The rest of us can start preparing in the meantime. Let's get to it, everyone. Everything complete. Okay, let's see how you did. Unity... <laughs> Way to go! Reunited? There's something beyond that, huh? Here's a gift from Her Highness. Copper Winged Lion Medal. Thanks, everyone. Great job! See you later, Reen! Hmm, I am drop right up. 
Thanks for tuning into this Let's Play of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon. 